Oh, that's cool, man. Okay. So what has been like one of the biggest lessons you've learned while being in this industry that you could possibly share to an upcoming artist in the DMV? Nine times out of 10, these industry motherfuckers, they like not really your friends. Like it's, it's a business at the end of the day. I'm doing a Zoom call right now. That's very important. I'm 92Q, leave me alone, dude. Ugh. Like I was saying, yeah, like this is a business at the end of the day. They, they be all friendly, all in your face, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as they think you not about to do something, they're going to disappear. Mm -hmm. They think you about to blow up, they're going to be on your back. All right, so you just made a special appearance virtually at Charles Middle School. Describe what that experience meant to you. They're like four of them jumps in like four days. So. Well, let's talk about all of it. What has those experiences meant to you and why is it important that you tap back into these schools? Uh, I mean, I ain't really have a person like that. Like when I was coming up, we ain't really had like no local celebrities or any of that. We ain't had nobody to look up to. I had like street dudes that I looked up to. That's kind of why I somewhat took the path I took, but I had like smart family members and stuff like that. So they kept me in line for real. But it's like, now that I know like kids look up to me and stuff like that, I want to teach them the right stuff to do. Like, cause they want to do what they see us do, but a water, yeah. But like, I'm trying to tell them like, they don't gotta, don't do what you hear me saying. Cause that's, that's what I've been through to get why I'm at. I don't just, I ain't no crash dummy. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. that's my life stuff that I've seen and stuff that I've been through. I'm just telling you, so you don't really do what I do. I just put it how I like the best way I could describe it. All right, so I know you had number three on your neck in remembrance of 11 year old Davon. Um, he was from Southeast DC who passed away last summer due to gun violence. What was so significant about that death that made you want to get that tatted? That could have been me. Mm. Like I remember like, even when I played football, like walking home, walking to my neighborhood, it'd be like shoot out and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like I remember one time I was little, it's probably like my first time hearing like gunshots while I'm outside and I like ran and slid under a truck. And my cousin like grabbed me and pulled me from under the truck and like ran and pulled me in the building and told me to stay with him, told me don't never slide under no truck. What if they shoot the tires or something? They gonna get smushed. So I don't know, it's like that could have been me. Like he wasn't doing nothing wrong. He, yeah. Outside having fun as a little kid. I feel like little kids can't even go outside and have fun how they want to. They keep killing little kids. And it's the fact that it's a child, though. So like, yeah. he ain't even get to live his life. He ain't get to do nothing. You don't know what he could have been when he grew up. And then he used to, like, DM me and oh. send me music and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was, I don't know. That, that could have been me. That could have been anybody. Yeah. What <laughs> has been, like, some of the funniest moments that you've had so far in your career? Oh, when I was living in LA, like my neighbor, his wife, I don't know who she was, but she just was randomly knocking on my door. I was like, I looked at the peephole, like I had just thought like, I had like a hit song and that joke was going crazy. I was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't messing with the white girls. Like, she like, can I just come in? It's on the internet. It's, it's like called like three old China lady or something like that. She was just, like, I'm talking to her through the door the whole time for like 10 minutes. She like, just let me in. I just want to come in here with you. She was like, I'm not just a drunk. I'm, I want to come in here with you. I'm your neighbor. I was like, what the f <laughs> I'm like, you ain't coming in here at all. Like, uh-uh. All right, so you tease a track on your social media with fellow d and artist Big Black, Gunu, and Black Fortune. Oh, and Money Martin. When will that drop? And what's the story behind that whole little collab? Uh, Black Fortune kind of set it up. Like we was all in LA at the same time. We partying together all week. We just having fun. We like, all right, man, let's fuck all the fun right quick. Let's do what we do. Let's go to the studio. Mm -hmm. Fortune called everybody. Cause it was still a pandemic. So yeah. uh, everybody couldn't bring everybody. It was where I pulled up by myself, solo, just, Everybody just pulled up, vibe, knocked out verses out, sat down, kicked it, shot the video as soon as we finished the song. Mm -hmm. And just, we was just out there living life, we was turning up. 
Have COVID shout out to Fortune for putting that together. Hmm? COVID scared you at all from like moving how probably you used to, you know, before pre COVID? Or you think Me personally? If something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Like I done been in way crazy stuff than COVID. Like mm-hmm. I done been in endless near death situations and I never froze up or none of that. Like mm-hmm. I just almost died last year in the car accident. Oh no. Well, I ain't almost died, but I was spinning like I was spinning crazy. Like and my cameraman woke up and started screaming like a little fag. So shout out to this little fruit cake. <laughs> But it was like a, it was like a, yeah, it was like a. Uh, <laughs> they is burnt out though. It was a hurricane or something. It was passing through Atlanta, and I was down there. So I spent out went crazy, slammed into the wall and all this other stuff. As soon as it was over, I started laughing. Like as soon as the car hit the wall, and I was like, I look at him. I was like, You good? He's like, Yeah, I'm good. So we just started laughing. Like, if something gonna happen, it's gonna happen. You can't live your life and see it. But COVID definitely affected me, but not really. I like, I, it. Even, like my my father passed away from COVID. Oh, no. So, yeah, that shit crazy. But it still ain't changed how I moved or nothing. Like, growing up, like, I lost so many friends growing up. I, I just used to want to be 18. When I hit 18, I was like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a OG. Damn, I'm 18. Then I was, let me hit 21. I hit 21. Let me get 25. I was like, yeah, bet. Mm-hmm. So I'm good. Like, I'm living my life to the fullest. Like I ain't about to live my life in fear. I'm only here one time. Um, what can we expect next from you? We see photos of Izzy. What man, you- Izzy's been cooking. Like, man, Izzy got endless songs to go. Like, when I moved to the A, I ain't really moving around with nobody out there. I ain't really know too many people. So me and him like always been locked in. Like, man, Izzy got a show together, man, like I would something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man, Izzy might hit Izzy on there. I just make music I, and then I grab the songs that I like the most. Like, but like I'm like it's February. I don't mean like 30, 40 songs already this year. Okay, so what's next? You still not saying that and you like being I don't like, know. I just I just make music. Like people be locking in the album mode and stuff like that. I make music the whole year. Mm-hmm. And when it's time to drop, we can we gonna go to that list. We're gonna pick what we like, but I mean, I've been cooking with Izzy. Me and Doughboy got a song. Mm-hmm. Uh, did I? Ah. Come on, I get y'all that. exclusive. I mean, I got a little. My next song, no, I can't tell you that. <laughs> I might get in trouble with time. My next song that I probably drop is gonna be an artist that the whole world loves. It ain't gonna be no local stuff. Okay. It's gonna be a global artist. I wanna wanna everybody favorite man. Okay, all right. Well, let's go into this. All right, I'll give you that one. All right, you give me that. All right, but then once it's about to drop, I need to get the real exclusive drop, just like the pre. Exclusive. No, I need the exclusive. When it's ready to happen, when I don't, I don't even know when I'm gonna drop it though. I'm still shooting videos for my last project. Okay, who do you think is like the top three best rappers of all time? All the time for me, it's yeah. gonna be crazy because my top three ain't none of other people's top three. Oh, like, they be like Tupac and Biggie, neither one of them in my top three at all. Like, I got 50 Cent in my top three. Uh-huh. I got Ludacris in my top three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who I'm gonna go with for my number three? Uh, to me, 50, Luda, probably like. Nelly and shit like that. Ah, Nelly! Yeah, like, I fuck with Nelly. St. Lunatic. Whoa, 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 take Nelly out of there. Drake. Drake, yeah, Drake. Drake, I went to, I went, I only went to Drake concerts, so now I never knew how much, how much I was a Drake fan until I got there, and I'm in that don't sound like a whole little bimbo. Yeah, everything. I'm in there singing, all of, I'm in there singing, I'm getting turned. All I gotta do is put my mind to this. I'm in that don't turn. Uh-huh. Drake, so, yeah. Oh. Drake, damn, I ain't put Wayne in there. I'm tripping. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking in my head, like, no Wayne. No yeah, Wayne. I, I'm really, my, my my mind, I really all the way woke up right now. All right, so let's do a top so, five. Who, who I said? Top five. Yeah, top, top five. five. Top five. Wayne, 50, Luda, Nelly, Drake. Damn, done. All right, ideal collab. 
Yeah, I do, Kalei. Drake. Drake get both sides of everything. Like Drake bring the females. You got them listening. You got the niggas listening. They listen to Drake everywhere. They listen to Drake in the hood. They listen to Drake in the suburbs. Yeah, so definitely Drake. He ain't one side of with it. Like they see Drake name on it. Whole world won't click it's it. Over. That's what I said. Put you in a whole never break it. He can do a song with anybody. He probably like one of the only artists that can do a song with. Mm-hmm. Probably Mariah Curry or Beyonce or something like that. And yeah, like match the energy and the whole world will listen to that. If it was Wayne though, it'd have to be the old Wayne. Like this new rock and roll Wayne, yeah. not feeling it. Yeah, Wayne burned out now. It would definitely have to be the Wayne that was on all the remixes. It was like, it was no radio station that you could listen to where you didn't hear Wayne come up. It had to definitely be that though back when you heard him all. Wayne made me kill everybody other like When I hear Wayne do remixes on people's beats, I forget whose song it is. So that's when I first started popping, like, all the rap stuff, that's what I was doing. Every remix I did, I made it like it was mine. Like, every every freestyle or remix I did get played in the club like it's my song, like, at home. Like, people tag me when they don't even be my version playing. Like, this your song, they playing that song. Like, that's the regular song. That ain't even me. But that's, that's what I try to strategy. do. That's a good strategy. Though, whereas though you have to kill it as if it's your song, Uh-oh. and it's making it easier for the DJs to also blend your song in with the other songs too. All right. Um, all right, all right, so this is the last thing. Um, tell everybody how we can like support you, follow you, stream you, drop all that. Uh, three old black everywhere, number three, letter O, letter H, black. That's everywhere. This right. <laughs> it's simple for me. Anything you want us specifically to stream right now? I mean, y'all could go crank who want it. I got Lil Baby on there. I got Money Bag on there. I got JG Real, couple popping dudes from the city on there. But that jump slides start to finish. That's like, it's probably like my favorite project I ever made. That jump crank. But who want it? They gotta see the who want it shoes. Somebody made me some three old black. How you flip the camera on this? Shoes. They made me some three old black. That's like part of my album cup. And then they put a little reflective three old on the front. All right, so um, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.